Hey guys, it's Lynx and today I wanted to talk about why I started learning how to produce my own music and different reasons why I think it's a really good thing to start learning as a sustainable option for you as well as show you some of the gear that I use to make music. So yeah, let's go. Like and subscribe if you want to stay updated on these videos. I will be posting two a week. I was silent last week just to pay some respect to George Floyd's murder and the Black Lives Matter movement. I am back this week and yeah, I really hope that this can give you some inspiration to start making your own music. So again, yeah, like and subscribe if you want to keep updated on this and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. But yeah, I will start letting you know my reasoning now. Number one, more control. When you hire somebody else to produce your song, they add a ton to the project, but also you end up compromising a little bit just because there's another person in putting their creative vision, which is really cool if that's what you're going for. And by all means, if that's what you want to do and it's a collaboration and it's cool, I just feel like, wow, it would be really cool if I could do this too, you know? Number two, it's very, expensive and if you're hiring a producer it's expensive rightly so producers i've been working with have been working their asses off for years to get where they are and i chose them for a reason so i'm not discrediting any producers i've worked with or anything it's expensive and i have found out that it is just not a sustainable option for me if i want to continue making albums i just want to put out more music more often and i am not going to be able to afford having somebody produce every piece of music I want to put out. Three, we need more female producers and engineers. And I wanna be a part of that vibe. I've always worked with men. Again, I'm not discrediting anybody I've worked with. And I also didn't actively seek out hiring a female producer or engineer, so on me. I wanna just be able to do it myself. Like I can just go into my studio and just make this happen, you know? Like how sick is that? And because I've looked up to people who can do this for so long when I've always wanted to do it and I never thought I could and I never believed that I could. So it's in a way, it's a way to prove to myself that I can do this. Like maybe, you know, I'm not the best producer in the world because I, you know, I, I just started, but it's really sick to be able to like be like, oh, look how far I've come. And four, you can create something truly genuine and authentic, and that's truly just yours. That's, that's a vibe too. Five, you don't have to split rights, any master rights with anybody. So that's cool, and that's also what makes it a lot more sustainable long-term as well. So you have complete control over your music, complete control of where it goes. If it gets picked up anywhere, you're the one who's getting paid and you're the one who makes the decision if it can or cannot be on that platform. All of those things are pretty great reasons why I'm started learning this. I've been, you know, producing my next album for a few months now and taking what I'm what I've learned from all the years I've spent in the studio kind of watching the producer and like talking with them and trying to get this sound and even learning the like how to communicate taking all that knowledge and just applying it to my own producing skills those are just a few reasons why i started to do this it's 100 percent learnable there are so many resources on youtube to learn you just have to put the hours in and put the work in it's all subjective anyway so i don't know it just allows you a ton of creative freedom you learn so much through the process and you just become a better musician and you just become a stronger artist. So I totally want to show you guys my gear and what I use to make my stuff. First of all, I use Logic Pro X. This is what it looks like. It's very intuitive. I mean, it looks intimidating, but once you just learn the basic things, you know, you can, you can start making stuff pretty quickly. Over here, I use a Korg Mini Log. Well, honestly, this is the only <laughs> instrument besides my guitar that I have right now. So I know tons of producers have like a trillion synths, but I have been able to get a ton of, a ton of different sounds from this guy. I do have a lot of control. You can really warp in the sound in any kind of way you want. And for like beats and stuff, I just like, 
I also get my a lot of my samples from Splice Sounds. I've used just like sounds from Logic, like Logic stock sounds. I'm using up my free resources, man. And then in order to connect your synth or instrument to Logic, you need an interface. So I use Scarlett, the Scarlett Focusrite 2i4. I just got this modern, it's made everything much easier. My back doesn't hurt as much and it's way easier to work on a bigger screen than just this little guy. I don't have studio monitors, uh, they are on their way, but I have just been mixing with these Audio-Technica headphones. My mic is a Rode NT-1. It comes with a pop filter and the stand I got off of Amazon. It was just like an Amazon basic stand. The test gaming chair. You're gonna be spending a lot of hours working and you definitely wanna take care of your back. So this one comes with a little pad for your lower back. My cat's chewed this, but that's fine. And I honestly just started learning from YouTube and I will link down below the YouTubers that I started learning from. There's Recording Revolution, there's Musicians on a Mission. There's plenty of resources out there on YouTube to use to learn. And I strongly encourage you learn it if it's something that you've been wanting to do. Back in October of 2019, I started learning how to produce music. I've been posting my little demos, which are unmixed and unmastered, by the way. Disclaimer, disclaimer. They're up if you wanna take a look at those. That's kind of me toying around with things I've been learning and just making stuff. When I'm just starting, there's a lot of beauty in not knowing what you're doing as well. I just educated myself like on the very basics of learning how to work logic. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I use to make this stuff. And again, I am a beginner. If you're just beginning, these things that I have all work. Like it all gets the job done. So you don't need tons and tons of gear to make a record, you don't. Even if you just have a garage band, that's totally fine too. If you're just starting and you want to go for it, I recommend it. You know, I started learning at 25 and I'm 26 now, so there's always time. And if you just like put the hours in, you can you can do it. I hope this video inspires you to get learning and start making your own stuff. It's cool nonetheless, just to teach yourself so you can even communicate better with the producer you're working with. So like and subscribe if you want to stay updated on my videos. And if you have any video ideas, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Yeah, don't don't be shy if you want to ask a question or anything, I will let you know what I know. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that this inspires you to make some music. So yeah, I will see you next time. All right, bye.